Bentley's Continental GT goes under the knife just a bit. Lexus throws out a teaser before Geneva. And the only prescription is more details. Also a new Aston Martin model and Mercedes will reveal the Maybach S-Class Pullman at Geneva. Plus it's hump day, so we'll get quite friendly for Friends Day, Wednesday. There you go. Hey, my name is Derek D. <laughs> and you're watching Fast Lane Daily. <laughs> Represent. Mercedes will take its newly owned Maybach name to a new level in size when it reveals the Pullman Edition S-Class at the Geneva Motor Show next month. There will be a two plus two plus two seating configuration with the four rear seats facing each other. There you go, so six people. So in other words, it's a Maybach limo essentially. Let's just call it what it is, okay? The only engine option will likely be a six liter twin turbo V12 Make it 530 horsepower and 612 pound feet of what? Torque. That's right. There you go. Brabus, a longtime Mercedes partner, will reportedly be the uh, manufacturer of the Pullman. Pullman? Isn't that a little sexist? I'm sure it's uh, going to pull women as well. Duh. I mean, it's a car. It's a good point. Right? Yeah. yeah. Come on. All right. Remember we said a few weeks ago Aston Martin got some extra scratch and was going to make a new model? Well, I said it, and that's what's happening. And that's the story. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Reportedly, it might be the most hardcore car the UK automaker has ever made. And I love the name. It's just fun to say. The Vulcan. Take a ride in my Vulcan, huh? Or it reminds you of Austin Powers. It's one or the other. Yeah, yeah. It will debut in Geneva as a track-only sports car made in extremely limited numbers. I'm talking only 30 production cars or even fewer. It'll have a stripped out interior with a roll cage, customizable seats, and more. Now the buyers of the Vulcan will also get access to an experience program like the McLaren P1 does and the uh, LaFerrari FXXK does. And that's good. Oh yeah. Because some of these rich dudes buying these cars have no clue how to drive them. Yeah. Must be nice. I mean, I have a pair of, uh, I have a few pairs of vulcanized vans. That's about as close as I'm getting to the Vulcan. <laughs> Yeah. Max knows what I'm talking about. I do. Yeah. Lexus has tweeted a teaser of its new concept that will also show up at Geneva. It's called the LFSA. This single image right here, I mean, it doesn't show too much besides some glowing LED headlights and a, a big spindle grill, but it does look like it's pretty mean looking, like a very mean looking front in a good way. Lexus says it previews an automotive future influenced by technology and virtual experiences. Okay. The LFSA could be a small hatch aimed at the Audi A1, Fiat 500, Mini Cooper, things of that nature. But we don't know yet, obviously. If I did, I'd tell you. But if it is a small hatch, LFSA could mean Lexus's first small automobile. It's a guess. It's a, it's a good guess. No chance. For the 2016 model year, Bentley has thrown some updates at its Continental GT with a facelift and new hardware. Outside, the face is a little more stylish. You got bigger intakes, a new trunk lid and rear bumper. There are also new 20 and 20 inch, new 20 and 21 inch wheels, so you can be rolling on dubs. That's always nice, I guess. Inside is uh, new diamond quilting. It's, I mean, that's the pattern, it's not actual diamonds. New steering wheel, bigger paddle shifters, because you need bigger paddle shifters, and updated instrument gauges. Now for the most part, engine options will remain the same, but the six liter W12 now makes 582 horsepower, and the torque number is up to what is it, Erica? 532 pound feet. Of what? You already said it. I need you to say it. Okay, fine, torque. <laughs> And uh, that's all while being 5% more fuel efficient thanks to cylinder deactivation. What happens is if it's not using some of the cylinders, it turns them off. Therefore, saving fuel. It's practical. It's a practical thing, Max. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I'm not one for crazy car colors, but call me a shovel because I'm digging so this shovel. lime green Bentley Continental GT. All right, shovel. Thanks. Hashtag I will never afford it. Hashtag I've used that joke before. <laughs> Hashtag lime green candy. It kind of looks like, cars like that look like candy. Right, yeah. yeah. 
Want to eat yeah, it? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Sweet tooth. Oh. Sweet tooth. I got a tooth right here. There's a tooth right there. All right. Time to hang out with some FLD fans for Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, AK? Yeah. yeah. Sure is. First up, we have FLD fan Eric Manuel Hernandez here who spotted an ultra rare Ferrari Ultima. They don't come around often. Yeah. So uh, thank you for that one. Uh, the Chicago Auto Show is going on right now, and every time there is an auto show, we always get an influx of FLD fans taking pictures with Fiat model Megan. So, here she is with FLD fan John Hibbler, or Jack John as I like to call him. Dude's <laughs> Jack. He's got like a Fu Manchu going on. All right. Next is Trayvon White Davis. Very nice. He turned that swag on. Oh, yeah. And uh, then we have Owen Hasler, looking happy as ever. You know, and, they, no, and no one doing the floating hand thing, which is good. You, know, you put your arm around a girl and you float the hand. Uh, they went for it, <laughs> right on the shoulder. So uh, thanks for those picks, guys. It's actually uh, Megan's birthday recently, so if you see her at the auto show, wish her a uh, happy birthday, you know, for MFLD fans. Nice. Yeah. Next is FLD fan Jonathan Gerard. Nice Iron Man shirt there. Now, he's from Vermont, but he's studying abroad in Dubai. And he sent us this video of... Uh, what they do for fun in Dubai. Race up some dunes in 1,000 horsepower plus trucks. John's actually in the white truck as a passenger, and that's the one that wins. For the win, John. He said they run on meth. Ain. <laughs> yeah. And uh, NOS. No word if the VTEC just kicked in, though. Okay. That's still that's un under investigation. So. Mark Arnejo Rydell Casino. Hope I said your name right, man. And uh, his picture is a dog wearing a hoodie with like a man person hand. All right. It's funny. Uh, he's from the Philippines and sent us this video he took while riding his motorcycle. And the video is of a Jaguar F-Type Coupe. Yes, that's a very sexy car. And he said they're super rare to see in the Philippines. That's why I took video of it. But you're recording while driving a motorcycle? The, the, probably not the best idea, Mark. Be careful. We know you want to be on Friends Day Wednesday, and you got it. So now put the phone down while you're driving. A motorcycle. Two hands, my friend. All right. And you got switching gears and stuff? Come on. Lastly, we have FLD fan Cody McLaughlin throwing up the deuce with his bro. Nice. He posted this video. Uh, there you go. First snowmobile makes it across. Second one, he's going. Not so much. Yep, sinking right on down. Need more throttle, dude. Or just, you know, snowmobile, not watermobile. That's all I'm saying there. Thanks, friends. We appreciate all that stuff. So keep the posts coming, and uh, we love it. We love it. Now, our FLD question of the day is a little lofty, but uh, hey, it's good to dream. If you could afford it, which ultra luxury sedan would you go with? A Mercedes, a Mercedes, a Mercedes Maybach, a Bentley Flying Spur, or Rolls Royce Ghost? Me? Money's no option? Uh, you gotta go with a Rolls. What about you, AK? Probably the Rolls. You go with the Rolls, yeah. Max? Rolls. Rolls? Is everyone rolling? No, I want the Bentley. You want the Bentley? All right, that was, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. That'd be about it my second. It feels right, right? Well, my second choice. I mean, oh. Rolls Royce first. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Use hashtag FLDQ of the D and let us know. And that's gonna do it. That's the end of Fast Lane Daily for Wednesday. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. And you guys can't see it, but Erica has like a uh, Britney Spears mic on. She's got this like new mic. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. I should take a picture. Okay. Okay, you ready, Erica? Uh, I'm scared. Or maybe I'll take video. Take video. All right, here's what I say. Hey, what's up, AK? What's going on? There you got Max. And Erica with the mic. There you go. There it is. Bye. Here's my monitor. I did, did it again. again. Hey Kay, uh, I, I don't think I asked that email, and, and good thing I just remembered because I always forget it. What is that again? <laughs> tips. <laughs> tips at FastLaneDeli.com. I'm, I'm, I'm going to write it down. Did you, so you killed a panther and then you put his tooth on it, on your shirt? Yeah. Right here. <laughs> this is a, a panther tooth. Yeah. Saber tooth tiger. It, baby. it was a baby. Okay. Ow. We're living in the fast lane, baby.